guys, today I'm going to be t doing a tutorial on how to make a single bracelet on the rainbow loom. This is one of the easiest bracelets. I am going to be doing a rainbow one. So we're going to start out with any colors. I'm just going to pull colors out of the bag. So we're starting with blue. And you're going to make sure the arrow is <laughs> placed away from you. And you're going to start on this side and put a peg from this peg to this peg like that. And you're going to be going in a zigzag formation. So like that, so that peg, that peg, and then I'm going to take a green since mine is rainbow, and you're going to go that way, zigzag, and then I'm going to take a purple, you're going to go this way until the end of your loom. So, Rainbow Loom is fun, and I'm almost done, sorry guys, it's been taking me a while. Um, so, I am going to be doing a lot of these tutorials. <coughs> almost done, almost done. Sorry guys, it's been taking a while. But this isn't a follow-along video here, this is not a follow-along <coughs> Alright, so I have a piece of purple, and then you're going to have one more, which would be the white. So, like that. Okay, so now you have your zigzags all the way up to the top. Now we are going to turn it around, and you're going to place a cap and band right on there, and you're going to... Um, I don't really mind. It's any color. I'm gonna do the color white, which is the color that's first placed. Get it white. Okay, so you're going to take it against your two fingers, twist, and then pull back over, and then just take it and place it on the white right there. <coughs> okay, so now that you have the cabinet on, you're going to start hooking. And make sure your capping band isn't crossing over the band. So you're going to pull back this capping band and take this white, pull it out like that, and pull it to the other peg. Now you're going to pull all this white back. You're going to get this purple and you're going to grab it, whoops, grab it to the other peg. So, like that. And you're just going to keep doing that. Pull back the purple, get the green, bring it to that peg. Pull back the green, grab the red, and go to this peg. And if you don't have the exact colors as me, that's okay. I would just get a color that's close to that. 
Like, I've seen people who have red and I don't have red and then I get orange. So, pull back the white to grab the purple. Pull back the purple, grab the green. Pull back the green, grab the red. Pull back the red, grab the blue. Oops. Pull back the blue and grab the white. Pull back the white and grab the purple. Pull back the purple and grab the green. Pull back the green and grab the red. Pull back the red and grab the blue. Pull back the blue. Oops. Pull back the blue and grab the white. Pull back the white and grab the purple. Pull back the purple and grab the green. Pull back the green and grab the red. Almost done. Pull back the red, grab the blue. Pull back the blue, grab the white. Pull back the white and grab the purple. Pull back the purple and grab the green. Pull back the green and grab the red. Pull back the red and grab the blue and then put it to here. So now you have finished and it should look like this zigzag sort of thingy majiggies all the way here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stick your hook through these as you're going to grab a band. Um, I'm going to do white because that's what the beginning color was. So grab white and pull it back through and then stick it on your hook. And then, whoops, actually I think that's wrong. That's wrong. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's wrong. I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. It's not what you do. You don't grab a white. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pull this back. I pull it to here, or you can pull it somewhere. Pull it to this peg so it's easier to attach your C-clip. <coughs> Sorry guys about that. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking of something else. Alright, so pull it back. Grab your C-clip. And just attach it under on, oops, I dropped it. Just attach it onto this blue here, like this. It's on, it won't fall off. So it's on, and then just pick it up and pull your bracelet off. And, okay, so your bracelet's off. It looks scrawny when it's not stretched out. But okay, so you have these white rubber bands, and you're going to put it around, pull it, the bracelet around, and you have the white, and you're going to slide the blue rubber band over around the C-clip, and you're going to just stick the white onto the C-clip, and through, and now you have your single bracelet. It looks a lot better when it's stretched out. So yeah, so this is what it looks like, and thank you for watching.